Well, I think it, it, there's, there are things that we can hope for, and then there are realities that we're dealing with right now. Um, I will tell you, according to American law, it is very challenging to have any kind of partnership with China. That doesn't mean that in the future it couldn't happen. Um, but I, I do think that uh, given some of the constraints right now, uh, it's hard to foresee that. So, Jim, here's another question about uh, cooperation. I mean, uh, we're, what is it, uh, about more than two months, uh, more than, uh, no, I take that back, more than 100 days into uh, the war in Ukraine after Russia's uh, invasion. How is cooperation with, with Russia going on in, uh, in space right now? Have things ground to a halt or? No, it, it's, it's moving forward. And I will tell you, it is a challenge. Um, when we think about uh, the relationship between the United States and Russia, you know, we, we go back to even the United States and the Soviet Union, the, the Apollo Soyuz program um, in the early 1970s was, a, was an, kind of a, an experiment to say, look, we are two great powers in a competition. And yet the question is, can we collaborate in space? Um, that was during the height of the Cold War. And of course, that was a very successful mission. We carried that forward with uh, the, the, um, the Russian Mir space station working with the space shuttle program. And then, of course, uh, the International Space Station, half of it is Russian. The other half is the United States. And, and we've been working together in space for you know, over 20 years on the International Space Station. So what I would say is that it is very challenging. It's going to continue to be challenging. Um, these events that have transpired terrestrial do not help. Uh, but I do believe it's important, given the progress that has been made in microgravity on the International Space Station, we need to make sure that those experiments are continuing because they are transformational for life here on Earth um, and transformational for the economy of the United States. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.